Oh, this looks like a pretty good spot to me. Out that way. Yeah, all right. Well, g'day. Richard Musgrave Evans here again, and welcome back. Now, today, right on location, down the coast, plain air. I've been doing a few of these wave paintings, as you may have seen, and what I want to do today is get right in amongst it and have a bit of fun. All right, so I reckon I'll set up just here. Let's get into this. Okay. Got the fold down easel. I reckon I'll give a bit of a landscape shot out that way. A few headlands thrown in. Only a little painting today, so there'll be a bit of broken up wave activity, but because the painting's so small and I've got headlands as well, it'll be a lot more about near the fire as well, also. So we'll just straighten this up with these legs out. So it's going to be palette knife again today. Oil paint, palette knife. Got a stretch linen there, ready to go. Set her up about here somewhere. Let's just have a look at that. Maybe about there. That looks like it could be it. Tip a few of those out. Yeah, she's a bit rickety, this old easel, so I've got a few clamps just to hold it together. So, one more clamp for the wind. It's a big clamp like so. Four. Pallet. Let's have a look at this. That'll sit in there nicely. The pallet is actually way bigger than the painting. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Got some ultramarine blue. Burn sienna to go with that. Some melissa and crimson. Touch of that. Yellow ochre. Look at that. And of course, titanium white. Now that. Gonna work with a bit of magenta today. And Viridian Green. Get that lovely turquoise. Alright, well, I guess we're ready to go now, so. Nice little piece, nice little distant, sim pretty simple shot. It's quite windy here, I'm tucked in nicely just behind this rock ledge, so I'm managing to uh, escape that, thank thankfully. What we'll do right now is just get stuck straight into it before the weather changes on us. All right, I might just knock in a few of the darkest darks just here in this bottom corner. It's a mixture of alizarin, crimson and viridian green. That's given a great dark. Like so, now let Okay, let's mix in some of the distant headlands. That'll be ultramarine blue. A little bit more blue in that mix. Ultramarine blue with burnt sienna and magenta. I can just drop in like so. Burnt sienna and magenta to grade off a bit. 
just grow it off a little bit more and darken it with a bit more burnt sienna and magenta. Just here is a little closer, so it's gone a slightly darker value. Let's go back up. Put a little bit more light here because there's a bit of a mist breaking with the surf. I still want to have that dark value at the top of it, like that. A bit of mist at the base of it. Let's go even lighter further away. It's a very misty day today. There's a lot of haze in the atmosphere. Out there. Just mix up a bit more white. I just got. I'll mix up. I'll add more white to all that value. Very light tone here. Just put that in. Down to there. A lot of haze on the horizon today. Very misty. I can go like so. We've got a blue sky up the top here, put that in. Lovely bit of blue, we want a bit of that. Move it all around. A little bit of Viridian green, burnt sienna and white today. In this water which is fairly stirred up. that right up to there. A little bit of burnt sienna. Just put a bit of that in. Burnt sienna yellow away from white. Just getting a bit of paint on the canvas here. Mix it up. A bit of stirred up action. Burns here in yellow ochre, okay, slightly flick a bit of that in. Get some white with the tiniest bit of yellow ochre okay. in it. Start putting some in. Just lightly going over the top of that distant stuff with some yellow ochres and burnt siennas but keyed right down. Hasn't got the full intensity of the chromatic saturation. slightly greyed off with the coastal haze. Still got to keep it kind of white but at the same time key it down because there's so much salt getting thrown around at the moment. 
got to remind myself to stay on target with the draftsmanship too, so... Get the knife on edge here. putting the horizon in. Now take that back up with this knife. Take that horizon so it's much thinner because that dark blue rolling horizon is a very thin strip so I'm going to take it right up. Clean knife. Pull through. Let's have a look at this. I've got the knife clean again. I'm just going to Pull through to start getting the draftsmanship of some of those waves, maybe. Let's just get that. Pull some waves in there. Feel the energy of the waves moving around. A white and yellow ochre up here for some sky. Clean night, but I just want to soften some of this sky off. Feel the energy and the movement in the clouds. Alright, what do we got? Just start sticking a little bit more turquoise in a few places. Come up here. Through. Keep working around, just put a bit more work in some of these clouds maybe. Soften that one there, bring up some refinement in this area. Some real dirty brown too with this coastal haze. A bit more burnt skin than that. Some dirty brown in the sky. Take a little bit of paint off there. Just lifting a little bit of paint off because it's in the distance, so you want to be fairly thin. All right, so there's some big chunks. What do we got here? We've got some nice big chunks. It's actually pretty hard to paint such a small painting on a day like this. She's like, this is a lot of overcast. Anyway, I feel like I've captured the essence of the day. So we've got the uh, near to far, the foreground rocks, the smashing surf on the foreground rocks. Those intermediate waves, bit of chaos today with all that wave activity. And uh, then the distant headlands in that distant salt haze, going off into the beautiful hazy sky. So I feel like I've caught the day. What I reckon I'll do is let the, get the camera off, come right in close and have a look, see what you guys think. Alrighty. Coming in close, you'll notice that I've pretty much captured the right colours and tone of the day. But to help add that extra strength to the picture to really make it pop, 
I've applied some of the mark, some of that surf, with really big thick slabs of buttery paint. Carefully positioned throughout the work and this really makes the painting, it gives it an extra level, just takes it to a... Not only is it about reality, it's also about random application, I guess you could say. Fairly simple colour palette as usual, on the whole, had a fantastic time. Great to be back out there playing and painting, and just great to be out in amongst it all. All right, well, there's a lot of salt air blowing around, so I think I'll, just getting a bit of B-roll for the painting itself, a lot of salt air all around because those waves are breaking all around me and there's a mist landing on the painting, so I better get it in the box as soon as I can. Let's start packing up. I always like to put them in a certain order, blues, browns, red, magenta, and that way if you always put your paints in the same order you know if something's missing then, it's so easy to leave something behind. Now I've got, thankfully I've got a plastic bag for all this paper towel that I've used. Let's clean those knives off. That's the bonus of having knives though, isn't it? Like, all you've got to do is give them a bit of a clean off and then that's it. There's no brushes to be done. Which I'll tell you what, I thoroughly enjoy having no brushes, I'll tell you that now. Alright, let's get this all packed away, shall we? Shut up properly today. Just full of all sorts of goodies. Now these easels are pretty good. This one's getting a little bit old now, but on the whole, they fold up pretty well. Yeah, there we go. 